Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the Rev Room. Today, I'm gonna be showing you my new bike rack slash bike carrier. For those that don't know, I bought a brand new Trek bike. I got the Trek Marlin 5 Gen 3, brand new for 2024. And this right here is the Thule Apex XT. This one is the smallest one they had in the bike shop, which is the two bike carrier. Now, originally when I bought this in the store, um, I did not build this. They built it for me. It was around $319.99. I know that sounds very pricey, but at the end of the day, I wanted a good bike rack, at least a brand new bike rack for a brand new bike. They showed me how to work it. I never had a bike rack before. This is my very first one. Also too, you have a product registration card as well as an instruction booklet. So right now I got it in the hitch just slightly. That way I could show you and don't have to struggle with picking this thing up. Yes, it's actually pretty heavy. First thing you have right here is this latch. So there's a hole on the side of your hitch on the right side right here. So you're gonna push this in and that obviously latches down. Be sure to pull on it and put a little tension to make sure that this is latched down. Be sure to get down there and actually feel and visually check that it's in the hole. After that, you're gonna come to this side. So you have this knob right here and what you do is you twist it to the right and there's actually a little metal spacer here that goes up in the top left corner of the hitch. Once you twist this to the right, I don't know if you can see this over here shifting, but this actually adds some extra tension. And always remember, just try to shake the bike rack up to square up everything in the hitch. And now once that's done, they give you a set of keys. There's a keyhole here. And you're thinking, what is this for? This is so nobody could just come by and take the tensioner off, then unlatch this and basically get it out of place. You could twist it all you want and it's off the track that controls this metal spacer right here. All right, so now we're gonna get into the latches real quick and show you how this thing actually operates. Everything on the bottom was just strictly for the trailer hitch mounting, but I'm gonna show you what the latches do. So there's one right here, it's a plastic latch. You uh, pull this up and now you could flex this down. And it seems it goes that far down. Now I could access the trunk area, which is good. Pull the latch again, lift this up, and then it locks into place. By the way, I'm feeling this thing, how it locks and everything. It's super heavy duty. We have an extra tie down strap. This is just an extra, it's not needed. And we're back to the latches. This is the final one at the top right here. And that's simply for your bike mount. Locks right into place. And that's really all that there is to it. It's only pretty much everything on here locks into one position or it's down. And here are the bike mounts right here. We're gonna pull these latches out. Take a look at these latches. Obviously, you know, the frame goes on here, but you're thinking, which way does it face? Anytime you see these bottom latches, that mount is gonna be where the seat goes. So you latch it in this way. So you have a bike with the front wheel here, and the back one is gonna be with the front wheel on this side. So seat here, seat here. That's really all that there is to mounting this. Just look at the bottom straps right here. Anytime there's a bottom strap on that mount is where the seat is gonna go. And you also get a frame cable lock. So you pull this out right here, tug it through the frame and lock this bad boy in right here. And right here, you see a keyhole. So grab the same keys you use to lock up the trailer hitch knob and lock the cable lock. Not coming out. Now we unlock it, and that retracts right back into place. But yeah, guys, that is my brand new Thule bike rack. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this bike rack. And uh, if you're thinking about buying one, I highly, highly recommend this one. Definitely built 
really well. A little bit on the expensive side, not going to lie. But I think this thing is just awesome. But yeah, guys, other than that, that's all I got for you in this video today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Rumble at The Rev Room, of course. And we got videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. I'm out.